guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl precious and i'm about to plug you i'm about to share with you how i pick my stocks so stay in tune as i drop the spots so guys first things first um uh, i look at the pe ratio uh but currently like most companies were performing very bad on their last financial years because of COVID-19, so the PH radio, it's either they tell you that it's not available because uh, some companies actually made losses instead of profit. And to calculate the PE ratio, we have to actually use uh, the profit and we divide, uh, we have to use the share price and we divide it by the earnings per share. So it might not be available because the earnings per share is actually negative which means that the PE ratio is not available uh, but that doesn't mean it's not a good stock I look for the PE ratio most of the times the PE ratio actually like measures uh, whether the stock is overvalued or undervalued anything uh, below five is bad like I don't consider that share and anything between from six up until around 15 is actually a good number if it's high around over 20 something there then it means it's overvalued which means it is expensive and guys we buy shares like we buy clothes when they want special and then one other thing i look at are those stocks which you know have been forgotten people are not talking about them so i look for those things you know the ones which are forgotten people have actually forgotten about them they don't talk about them they don't consider them you know yeah those kind of stocks i go look for them they are very good for returns because when they get back out of them amazing they are amazing and guys uh you might think uh, a stock is a penny stock and you might actually think no this stock won't grow a penny stock will always be a penny stock but it's actually those stocks which actually like very low that actually have the they have the potential to actually grow exp exponentially to a huge 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 big stock because every big business that you see today is that it's somewhat small and it go to where it is today another thing i look for is the mode aka competitive advantage like i explained on my last video that you know coca-cola has a, a huge mode like they, they have a competitive advantage their brand has been there for too long people like love it people love coca-cola like all coca-cola uh soft drinks they love them like they are so in love with them to the extent that you know even when compared to other brands uh, they still prefer coca-cola is their number one preference most people so their brand is actually their um, they are moat they call it a moat so it's another thing that i'm teaching you today a moat is competitive advantage like what do they have like do they have economies of scale economies of scale is is like uh, when a company can produce a lot of goods with with in a short period of time and with and with a lesser amount so if let's say company a can produce uh 1000 stock and cost per product with the one rand and uh company b to produce uh, a 1000 stock the cost price will be around 300 it means company a has a competitive advantage over company b because they can actually even sell the 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 product for for three rand while it's the cost of company b and then another thing that i look at is the ownership of the company are the people who are running the company owning a share of the company like they have to actually own something so i actually invest the ceo the cfo and the directors to find out if they actually own shares in the company because i believe that if you have something to lose you will make sure that you run the company to your best advantage because you're also a shareholder so your money is at stake so you run it for the best so yeah i look for those dogs uh where the companies are ran by the owners so the people who run the company should actually own a share it actually becomes interesting so if you have invested in it you know we're in this together 
if if I lose, you're losing too. So I know that she will make sure that you, the company doesn't lose at all. And guys, it depends uh, on what is your goal with investing. Is it mainly dividends or is it capital growth or your your number one is 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 capital growth? If your number one is dividends, you should look at the dividend yield. How how is it? How is the dividend yield? And then another thing you should actually check is uh, if you want growth. One thing you should check is if the company is reinvesting its profits. Like some companies like distribute a lot of 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 profits as dividends to their shareholders. But if you're someone who's looking for capital appreciation, you want a company that takes uh, most of the profit and reinvest it so that the company can grow because when now you want growth. And then another thing, guys, that I look at is uh, uh, return on equity, return on asset, return on investments. That is to measure if the assets and the equity and the investment are actually like the returns, like the profits actually match them. Like, are they big enough? Okay, so what I look for most of the times is something around... Uh, 10 to 15 percent at least 10 and above actually around 10 and above uh, then I should be satisfied with the return but if it's anything less than that uh, I'm not interested in the company but guys right now because due to COVID a lot of companies actually made less uh, some even made a loss so you might find that their return on everything is lower so another thing that I love is investing in, in small companies, companies that, you know, are just growing. They have potential to actually grow in a multiple way because, you know, they're, they're still small. But the companies which are actually like huge, they're up there, they can grow, but not that much. They cannot grow to... Yeah, so they can actually grow, but not that much. So yeah, that's what I love. And oh guys, uh, what I want to tell you is that to find a PE ratio, dividend yield, return on, in, on equity, return on investment, you can find them on, I find mine on MoneyWeb or investing.com. So you should check those stuff, MoneyWeb and investing.com. And guys, another thing is that you have to check the liquidity and you also have to check those are the things that I consider before I actually go and buy my stocks. So it's basically that. Guys, I love you. Please like, subscribe, and stay in tune for more. I'll be back with more information about this thing. Please stay in tune. And guys, don't lose hope. Keep on investing. Invest, invest, and invest. And it will end well for you one day.